What's good guys? Welcome back on Explomo. This is one of the last days in Italy and I'm standing in such an extraordinary place in front of an abandoned plane and this was not a normal plane. This plane was an actual restaurant and this restaurant was opened in the year 2000 by an Italian brewmaster who had the idea to give people the opportunity to give them the feeling of how it will be to be in an aircraft for the first time. People who, for example, were afraid of heights, afraid of flying. He gave them the opportunity to go to this restaurant and just eat inside of an aircraft, which I find really such an inspiring idea. And besides that, people also could enjoy artwork from the Italian Renaissance, from Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo inside, which was also a really cool idea. So what this Italian brewmaster did, he opened this unreal place with two abandoned places. One is a Douglas DC6 and the other one is a Tupolev TU145. Uh, yeah, there was just a lot of excitement all around Italy and it was a big booming business until 2014. There were a lot of legal battles going on and also everything was about zoning violation inside the town. And then this restaurant shut it for good. And I think it's such a shame because it was such an inspiring idea of this Italian brewmaster. However, I've never seen a spot like this. I can't wait to explore it. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's hop straight into it. Okay, so we made our way on the area. And there's actually a lot of other buildings as well. For example, this white building. But we gotta be cautious which building we enter because I have been warned by my contacts that some of the buildings is alarmed and besides it's not interesting at all so it would just be a waste of this explore if we trigger an alarm for a room which is not interesting at all but wow take a look where are we walking through all these trees so magical there is lamps hanging here there's a little pathway going on to the area So there's this building I was talking about, it has a lock. So I think it has been locked but we're gonna, gonna check it out. But that's for later because we don't want to trigger the alarm. First I want to show you the planes, but there's even more. There is a helicopter, there is a swimming pool. It's just a very unique spot. So I think this is where all the people just came in, asked for their reservation. Then over here we have the sign Pizzeria, so if we walk through there, there should be a pizzeria somewhere. Oh, take a look at this giant table. I think people also used to have lunch or dinner outside. It's a really long table. This must be very, very heavy to carry. There's lions. So it's cool because we can take a look at the rear of the plane and also the wheels from nearby. You can get a really close look of how these planes were built. And I see that there is an opening to the plane. However, we're gonna do that later on of our explore because we also heard multiple stories that the planes have been alarmed in the past. We don't know if there's still a recent alarm on them, but we just don't want to risk things before we've seen the whole place and explored the whole area. So there is another cafe or bar. This place is actually pretty huge. We only imagine how many guests they hold it. I'm very cautious with going inside of the buildings. I'm not entering them like I normally do. But I can give you an overview of everything without even stepping inside. There's this children's playground. <sighs> but it's not child friendly anymore. 
then over there you see the helicopter the red helicopter so cool so there's two airplanes and a helicopter and over here we can also beautifully see the wing of this airplane okay so over here was the restaurant pizzeria and there was a pub there's this one building I think it was just where people could buy them some drinks we have these windows and one window is open I think there would just be someone standing here and you could ask what you want there's a cash register so there was just staff standing inside of this little cabin and it's cool that these planes even have the control tower in the middle which you normally see on an airfield also these little tents I think they used to stand chairs on the ground over here so people could also have dinner or lunch outside and then this plane is so cool because the propellers I like this plane the most this is the second plane wow I like this plane the most I think it's also a little bit bigger than the other one but I'm not sure of that I think there would also be someone performing over there it looks like a little stage take a look at the structure of this wall airplane these massive wheels and then the size of the propellers this place is unreal And then over here they even had a swimming pool. I can only imagine people celebrating their holidays here, having great times together. And then the swimming pool behind the two airplanes. A massive swimming pool. However, the water doesn't look that clean anymore. Completely dirty and green. And they even had windows on the wall all over there. And this helicopter. It's really cool. I'm going to try to access it. I want to take a look inside of the Haley and also inside of the planes. But we will have to wait a little bit with that. So over there was another place to eat. People could go to the pizzeria here. We're not yet entering the building, but in a minute we will enter all the buildings together. This was an outside place. Man, this place is big. There's many different restaurants. I saw a barbecue, I saw a pub, I saw a pizzeria. You had the planes to have dinner in. I think they could hold up up to 500 guests maybe. There was another bar. And there was yet again another bar over here. A beach bar or something, I don't know. We can take a look inside of this one. Oh, this was like a grill. You see the grill plate over there, and over there they would cook everything. Then we have two beautiful statues, and that's definitely Italian style. Renaissance style, as I told, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo. Then over here, this is the back right corner. You had another sitting corner. These chairs are pretty unique, by the way. There are many of them, but take a look at their heart design. And then on the wall, <laughs> probably our American fans know who these guys are, the presidents. Looks like a Wild West team over here with the cactus over there. Probably this was like a Wild West theme bar. Okay, let's walk down this pathway. Pretty 
interesting. Let's see where it leads us to. We have a tunnel over here. Okay, now I gotta be careful. Ah, these are these were toilets. You can definitely tell this was a toilet area in the back. Wow, take a look, this is the wall full of mirrors. I'm wondering where this pathway will end eventually. Maybe to a backstage or something. Ah, this was another bar. I can see that. As you can see, there was another bar down here. Very small one though, not that luxurious. I can go back through here to the boys. And then we are going to explore the rest of the buildings. Okay, so we're going to enter the airplanes now altogether. I'm curious, I hope there's no alarm. And I hope we can see and explore the aircraft as a wall. They should be very cool to see from the inside, I've heard. There we're going all together. Alright, you ready homie? other plane they are attached to each other oh my gosh this is really cool take a look at all these tables so it's well very dusty in this place and the cockpit whoa so many buttons I don't even know where to look. Okay, let's just walk through the plane. tables people used to have dinner here it's so cool and then we are already at the rear the end of the plane Steve just found out that the tables also have a similar design from the restaurant itself so this was a kitchen maybe also a washing area where they would prepare all the food and then the hallway over here where the toilets and this is actually what from the outside looks is the control tower and it actually attaches the two planes onto each other. I think this desk all the people just came in and there was someone standing for the reservations. This even was the menu card. See all the dishes. The prices are not too high actually. Already in euros, of course. Fridges for the drinks, so you could already order a drink. There was also a bar. And then we're gonna explore the second plane, and that's this one over here. Let's take a look inside. This one looks familiar than the other one. Okay, so this one has a different color from the inside, red seats. And 
this is actually really cool. If I would have dinner in the airplane, I would definitely uh, choose to sit in the in the rear of the plane, the end, because you have this little lounge here with this bench going around in the back of the plane. And again, you see the logo of the restaurant coming back in the design of the glass tables. So it says there is air conditioning inside. Well, I wish there was air conditioning inside. It's so, so hot in these planes, especially because it's 38 degrees Celsius now outside. Let's take a look if this one has a familiar design, but it hasn't. This one's completely different and I prefer this one. Take a look at the design of this one. It has a green inside. Wow, this cockpit is amazing. I think there used to be a mat kit inside of here and then in the back we have again a lot of other buttons man I have a lot of respect for pilots because I should never could relate where all these buttons were used for and what their purpose was okay so I forgot to film the outro at the planes but what actually happened is a wasp sting me I was dying of pain really never in my life happened that to me and I was all the time uh, a wasp will never sting me, never sting me. Then all of a sudden I wanted to exit the plane and then right on my left hand side there were around 10 wasps. They attacked me and as soon as I realized that I was running down the stairs going to Steven I was like ah shit man, a wasp stung me. Yeah, well it was quite unfortunate but we were happy there were no alarms. In the end we didn't enter the other buildings but I hope you enjoyed the drone shots. After all, thanks for watching. If you like the video, of course, smash the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel below, leave a nice comment. We are Explomo, and yeah, in the end, peace out, and thanks for watching. Peace out!